And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. It's a reminder Big Brother does have an eye in the sky, and it's watching us. This Big Brother comes in the form of some insurance companies here in America having drones and satellites fly over our homes, believe it or not. And if that home isn't up to snuff, then those companies are canceling your homeowner's policy. It happened to a woman in California. Let's talk about it. Our guests are here on The Factor on Censor tonight. We have with us Mitch Guillory and Shad Bogany, both experts in the real estate industry. And guys, a very disturbing situation out of California where a homeowner claimed that she was being spied on by her insurance company. And of course, the local television station there investigated and found out it could be true that they may have used satellite or drones to take exteriors of her home and then they canceled her policy after being a customer there for decades. First of all, Shad, your thoughts on this and how likely is this to happen to other customers out there? There's probably about 20 to 30 percent, Isaiah, of insurance companies that is using this technology and they're basically using third party technology uh, to do it. Uh, for years, Insurance companies, when you did a policy, they would send somebody out in a car to make sure the house is there and it looks okay. And then they would, if it didn't, they would cancel that policy. So now they've switched over to technology to do it. And this is the world we live in now that they're going up. And if they see something that's not right at your house, something that uh, a hole in the backyard that could trip and fall people, they're now using the new technology to cancel policies. Now, what we saw, Mish, in this case, the woman had construction materials on the side of her house because she had been under, undergoing a remodeling process of her home. Right. And uh, she said she couldn't get uh, an appeal, and they just said, no, we're canceling your policy. But after the reporter called, now they're saying, yes, you know, we can take a second look. But a lot of people will get that no in the beginning that this woman received without having a third party like uh, a news media or a journalist intervening. Exactly. This is so troubling. We know that the insurance policies are written with this language that's really, really loose. Like Shad was saying, they have the ability to inspect. Well, these drones are kind of falling very easily under that, that clause in your insurance policy to let you do it. And the question becomes, wait a minute. First of all, were you even at the right house? Now, I know the lady that was out of state, this really was her home. But was that picture taken last year or something before I was the one who owned it? Like, when was the picture taken? And so this is causing issues. You hear stories about things like um, solar panels on rooftops that are kind of blurring and distorting the images that the drones are capturing. And insurance companies are mistakenly thinking that's damage to the rooftop. No, it's a solar panel. Your little silly drone just doesn't know what it's looking at. So we've got all kinds of issues going on. And what's worse is right now, at least in Texas, you can ask an insurer, let me see the picture that you use to make some random decision to drop my policy and right now there's nothing to force them to do so so and I that's what say, happened in california they refused to turn the photo over to the woman so she can compare and see is this my house even though she acknowledged it was but got, she's oh i'm so sorry we, we've got a legislative session coming up in 2025 and i'm hoping that someone is writing legislation that demands you must show me what it was you looked at because real talk, it might not have even been my house. And Shad, are they using these drones as a money saving mechanism, a cost cut cutting uh, mechanism so that they don't have to hire human inspectors to go out? Because if you don't have humans laying eyes on something, you're not getting a true picture. Uh, yes, I think it's somewhat um, cost savings, but they're also using satellite images and the satellite images in today's world can zone right in on that roof. I was talking to an insurance agent and he was telling me they're using it now to determine whether or not the, the roof is in good condition because if your roof is over 10 years old, they're not gonna insure your home. Mm -hmm. And so they are now using satellites to zoom down into the granular, see the granular loss. 
And so when your insurance policy comes up for renewal, they're doing those satellite images. And I didn't realize satellite images, Isaiah had gotten that good, but I have a roofer. So if I call him and says, I need a bid on a roof, he goes to some company that does satellite images, measures the roof, and gives me a bid on the roof. Without even coming out or without, without having to come out. Side on the it's impossible. They're all in your business. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Big Brother is really watching your ass now. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us and enlightening us. And I'm sure this will be eye-opening for a bunch of our viewers out there. Thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored tonight.